Hi, and welcome to episode number two of Stitch and Stash. We're a knitting podcast based here in Northern British Columbia in Prince George, BC. And we are coming to you from the ancestral lands, the unceded territory of the Quele Tene. I'm Sarah. Hi. I'm Lisa. And we're trying this is number two. two. Number one. <laughs> Yay for nine followers. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think mom's on there. Is your mom on here? No, I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell my mom either. I just did it in the covet of darkness. I did tell my sister. She watched it. She said it was good. But I feel like she kind of had to say that. Well, there's four other people that watched it that we don't know. Right. So I think we're okay. So give us a shout out if you watched it. If you were one of the four, let us know who you are. We'd love to <laughs> love to say hi. Yeah. <laughs> so what have you been up to the last couple of days, weeks, I guess, two weeks? It has been two weeks already. Um... Not knitting as much as I'd like to. Work's been busy. Yeah, me too. And it's, it's hot. Been hot, yeah. It's hard to knit when it's hot. Well, and then I just started buying and not really knitting what I had, and plans changed a couple times on what I was going to work on. And but when you want to just knit something, you'll have anything that you want. It doesn't seem to work that way for me. Then I go downstairs and look in the stash, and I've got the wrong weight or not enough or. Do you keep it in the skeins or do you cake it? It's just in skeins downstairs. So I did order good. one of those. Um, so I have like the traditional knit picks ball winder with the crank. Mm -hmm. And then I do have one of the, the better sort of wooden sheepies ones yeah. downstairs that winds this way. So it, mm -hmm. you, you have this motion and the other one is this way. I find my knit picks one that base isn't big enough when I'm winding big cakes and I tend to get it over the sides and then I've got this big not where the the mm -hmm. cake is actually attached to the ball winder do you hold onto the yarn when it's feeding in so it's tighter or do you yeah i do but i think sometimes i just get overzealous and my watch says it looks like you're doing an elliptical workout and i'm like yes i am and i, I love this spin faster and then i'm like ah, it's all tied onto the thing and i can't get it off there was one day in the winter time i came home and it was on the lawn which one was it the the top or was it the side? The nitpick side winder mm -hmm. with a smaller base. And he's like, did something happen? Uh, yes, the yarn was still attached and the ball winder was on the lawn. I just lost my crap and <laughs> threw it outside where it was going to have a timeout. So was there a risk of it getting wet and felting? I didn't care. I was mad. I was mad. It was an expensive skein of yarn. And I was being very diligent and I still attach the two together so that's when I ordered the other one and I do like it but I actually on Amazon ordered this little attachment hopefully I'll be here next time and it goes onto a little screwdriver <gasps> electric screwdriver so then I can just needles of the ready who was talking about that <clears throat> they were talking about that were they mm -hmm. I think I just saw it on Amazon but mm -hmm. um yeah I'm now it's either gonna help my life or I'm going to actually attach it to the ball winder faster I, something's gonna happen I'll let you know I would be worried about the variable speed on the drill well I would set it first like to the max like not the max <laughs> <laughs> the max level the max I want it to go because you can do like small it's like a little he just got me a screwdriver electric screwdriver oh, just a little one mm -hmm, I not... picture the swift spinning and lifting up off the table well and then the swift does this weird thing where the <laughs> <laughs> the, the tail ties around the base of the swift and then yeah. I have a knot there and I have a knot on this side and I don't know then I just get angry with mm -hmm. myself because I'm like this shouldn't be this hard no we should have a winding party and we yeah. just bring all our yarn and we just wind it all at once where there's two of us to untie the knot you so. hold my ends and tell me when I'm winding to the ball winder that's right you know and we can mix more coffees and things as we need to true mm-hmm yeah yeah it was not a good time i ended up <laughs> yeah i did eventually retrieve it and cut it free and wind it up but and it is down in your stash or is it a garment waiting for you i actually don't remember what i did with it now it's probably long knit or that's good something i don't i don't know that's good i don't know so what did you finish knitting did you finish anything last week finished my socks so mm -hmm. my Briggs and Little pattern the uh, uh, what is it fine fine socks it's mm -hmm. called mm -hmm. it's using it's calls for the 
um, brings in a little sports yarn, which is um, wool and nylon, but it also works okay for just a regular sock yarn. So this was in deep stash. The name of the yarn is long gone. Those um, are Mike's? Please. Um, I actually don't know. I just knit them. It's got pink in it, but the men can't wear pink. I what? just don't. Mike doesn't actually like my hand knit socks. Oh. He finds in his work boots that they, um, they don't go so well. He has special like bamboo ones mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. his work boots. Work boots are different. Yeah. So I just knit it. I just knit it. I'm going to, I'm, I almost said felt them. I am not going to felt them, <laughs> hopefully. Um, or that may be foreshadowing on what's about to occur, but I'm going to block them and then see. I did knit the lady size. They seem a little bit loosey goosey here. So we'll see. And I don't, with the um, Briggs and Little, I just rib till I'm bored. And then on the original pattern, it has ribbing all the way down the foot. I've done one like that. It works, it, they fit nice when you yeah. do that, but they're slower. They are, and I can only rib for so long and then I like to go on the straight stretch for a little period of time so yeah so that's what I did on those and it's just a lady's size I think it's eight foot eight inches till you get to the toe so um yeah that's them done nice so I'll we'll probably go into the gift box nice but you did you finish anything nothing that I showed last week no I, I have one other oh um, which is just the Parkview hat. Oh, Tracy Tracy's. Miller's Parkview hat. And you even put mohair in it. I did. Um, so this is a Rose Hill yarn. The main color is a Rose Hill mm -hmm. that I had. And then just some leftover mohair gray something nice. that I had. I do love. In stash. The Rose Hill yarn. It's very, very nice to knit with. Mm -hmm. The color um, change is nice. And I do like the the look of the hat. Mm -hmm. I did block it, but I don't usually. Mm -hmm. It's very so, nice. Yeah, very this is soft. a small size. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. My son wouldn't steal that one from me. Because it's pink? I think so. Well, you never know. They're different. Kids are different now than they used to be. Well, there's pink shirt day and... Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. I know one of my sons ordered a pair of pink vans and the other one's like, those are really cool. So, oh, that's you know, nice. You do you, yeah. however that is. I didn't show this last time because I kind of forgot about it. This is Black Cat yarn in colorway light bright. Doesn't it remind you of being a kid and setting up on the light bright, all of the different? It does. Yeah, it's pretty fun. So this isn't a pattern. I went back to my old days. <laughs> See if it fits. <laughs> <laughs> the point the of this hat, <laughs> The point of this hat is I have done a couple of yarn overs in strategic places on purpose. Not access. They're not drop stitches. And the point is that I can wear my wireless headphones, uh, bone conducting headphones, through them. So you feed them through, and they can be on the outside of the hat while they are still hooked up to over my ears and I can wear them going for a walk or whatever I'm doing. I'm a little bit wimpy so I wear a hat lots. Well you don't have very much hair up there to not anymore. Keep you insulated. No it's good. So does it work? Um, have you tried it on with your? It's been 30 degrees since I finished it. So the but your shirt, like you I'm, tried it with the, them on and it yeah. seems like it's gonna... Yeah, it's good. I think it's gonna work good. I did, okay. is that moss stitch or is it... Moss or seed. Yeah, it's the same. Mm -hmm. I think Just so. Just different names. Yeah. I thought it would um, make the, the color more obvious. Like the little speckles of color make them look like they're pegs. Mm -hmm. So. What, uh, do you remember what size needles you used no, and stuff? No, I don't remember. For stitches? No, don't remember. I could count them. So but somebody said to you, Lisa, I want to make this bone conducting hat. You're going to say good luck with that? No, I would count the ribbing and I would, it's just a standard decrease at the top. It's a little bit slouchy. Yeah. But um, it's easy enough to figure out. It's just right. So Lisa came over today and presented me with a project book and she also got herself one. So this is where this 
<laughs> when somebody asks you for something details we'll be able to look and see what exactly we did rather than just uh yeah what, i don't know hey i did find a note remember i can't remember who i was talking to it might have been you about what size of needle for the swatch was for my project i'm doing with the flax sweater was it you uh it was when we met with jamie from um, oh, so yeah. right it, within the two weeks, so two Fridays ago, one quarter of of Cozy Up Knits yeah. was here in BC visiting family. So we actually, it seemed a little weird. And I sent a couple text messages to her just being like, hey. <laughs> um, she had put out on the podcast that she was going to be in the north. So if anybody was interested in getting together for a knit, to give her a shout. So... I know that she likes coming up to our local yarn shop here at the top drawer. I think she's been here once or twice. And um, so I messaged her and said like, hey, we are in Prince George. We have no problem meeting in Vanderhoof. And the plan was we were going to come back to Prince George and spend the day knitting and lunching. And then I would drive her back. But then we realized it would be about four hours in the car between backs, backs and forth. And um, I was still really broken from the zero gravity chair. You're good now, right? I am. Okay. I am. Massage okay. therapy. It hurt. It hurt so bad. She found muscles I didn't know I actually owned. I'd seen them in textbooks, but I was like, I don't, I don't got that muscle. <laughs> <laughs> but she found it, and um, she worked it out. So I am. I mean, I'm not exactly going to be winning um, gymnastic competitions or anything, but I can actually walk without feeling like I'm dying and it was so bad not sitting in the chair anymore well and to be fair the ch the chair itself may not have been the whole issue I do have you know hereditary flat feet so I tend to wear <laughs> it's it's a thing that's why you're not allowed in the army I'd be rejected so and I don't always make the best footwear choices because you know you still want to be fashionable even though you have a flipper for a foot so it could have been, it could have been both things. However, it really flared up after being in the chair. No. So, but we met Jamie. Oh, yeah, it was, we it met her awesome. in Vanderhoof. And awesome. we, I sent her messages saying, this is everything I tell my kids not to do. You don't meet people online. You don't get in their car. You don't go meet them. Um, but I did convinced Lisa that this was going to be a great idea <laughs> it was and good. actually we know who we were meeting she just didn't know who was meeting her yeah so but we're completely normal ish sort of I don't know close enough jury's out um but we met <laughs> and we went to the little department store in Vanderhoof it's one of my favorite little um just outings it's an hour away there's not a like they sell Briggs and Little and they they but they sell a lot of like commercial yarn um there's a, a huge uh, Mennonite population up in Vanderhoof so they have um lots of sewing quilting mm -hmm. um they really and the winters are long like mm -hmm. if you are watching us and you live in the north you know how long our winters can be and how dark and depending on your community what like can make it feel even longer you know if you don't have a knit night or you don't oh, have totally. um, fellow knitters or yeah. you know sometimes you're going to work in the dark and you're coming home in the dark yeah. and and it's cold and you know you don't want to walk you might fall and hurt yourself so yeah stock up on all our yarn and fabric and yeah cool so things. we went there we had we checked out the the yarn and uh we got some fabric yeah so I'm gonna Jamie make myself a, a bag or four right Let's see. maybe, maybe you maybe you'll like, like one i would but with a drawstring because as <laughs> you found out today <laughs> zippers zippers are mean we almost had a casualty almost but we got it figured it was it almost got worse before it got better but we're good now the ball's just slightly hairier in one spot but that's fine <laughs> um and then we went to the little bakery there yeah and we sat and we knit for a long time and i i, I didn't want it to end i didn't want it to end either and no i'm watching their podcast she said she had a good time too and and yes i am her favorite sarah now it's me <laughs> it's me um the one and only yeah <laughs> i had to text you i was watching ahead of you I had to yes i knew it and then i'm like what are you talking about she, she's like you're the favorite sarah and i'm like 
I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> so she had to clue me in. And then, so did you bring your fabric? No. No, I didn't. I'm going to bring it when it's a finished project. I brought the yarn that I bought there. Oh, and good. It, I mean, now we've discovered too that the top drawer sells it too. But I like to spread the, the, the yarn wealth out mm -hmm. throughout the communities. So this is, this is called Homestead Painted. Set roots, be grounded. Oh, I like that saying. It's, it's um, hemp, right? Yeah, it's 80 wool, 20 hemp. 400 meters so this was my colors it's actually coming kind of true there it is actually working pretty good so we'll see what that looks like I'm gonna try a different sock pattern with this one because the Briggs and Will calls for three oh, and this is a smaller. little finer this is like two and a half so I'm yeah. gonna maybe pull out the Stephanie from like the vanilla sock pattern oh. that's in her book there mm -hmm. and see and then this is my other one that's this so reminded autumn. me very of you me? Yeah, these colors. Orange and green and purple. Yeah. Aren't they your colors? Oh, I like I like them all. But this reminds me of you because Hocus Pocus is coming out. And it's oh very Halloween-y. Going to that movie. I will chance COVID and I will sit in the movie theater with my bucket of popcorn. Are you going to come with me? I'll come with you. All right. Yeah. It's a date. Maybe we should podcast from there. <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> we won't, we won't, no, not going to do it. In the dark. I have. Successfully? Very, very simple. Only knit and purl. Don't even the increase, decrease. I had to be established in the hat. But I finished it. I think we're are, watching Jumanji. I, are these your colors? No? I like it all. I, I have one that's kind of like that. I use... The same the same com company? No. This was Pixel. But I used it with these kind of colors. I'll bring it well, next maybe time. we need to do sock along. Maybe you should take this one and we'll cast on at the same time once you've got about 30 other things off the needle. Pro so how many am I allowed to have? Oh. This is my Question. this is my book that I bought myself because Sarah um, knits differently than I do where I oh. like to have different projects on the go at once. And so I'm a bit of a hummingbird so I have many. I keeps me interested. So you will beat me to finishing the socks. Yeah? Yeah. Well. Give me a head start. Can right? mine be shorties? So do you want to take these? Mine could be shorties and yours could be full size men's. Do you want to take this? I don't know. You should knit them. Well, I have this one. Okay, well, let's. And I have like a whole schwack in the basement of look, other stuff. There's yellow. What other colors in there? Oh, I don't know. Look, there's. Oh, there's a gray. See? There's, there's a gem. And more. brown. Can't quite see all in there. Okay, well, we'll discuss okay. it. We'll discuss it. We don't need to. We'll come up with a plan. Yeah. And if you're interested in joining along with us, let us know. Ooh. And then I think we could actually enter our socks into uh, Tracy and Jody's monthly sock bash thing that they do. That's okay. We could idea. all just work on them together. Excellent. Anyway, so, so that was our fun with Cozy Up Knits. That was awesome. Oh, the point of that was I remembered I found a note in my phone for what size of needle I used for my swatching for what it's going to work with. So, where were we going with that? Your new project. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry. No, we were sitting with Jamie in the bakery in and the you were showing her your future cast on. Oh yeah, and she says, what, what size of needle was that? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Right. So that's where... Right. Long story short, okay. found around, back to here. Okay, so you know what? We're storytellers. So I'm still doing my But graph. I don't think it was that that you no, were No, I don't for. know either. Well, it's we'll for figure your, it out. It's for your, um, your creation, like your sea glass, but not your sea glass. Yeah, I wanted to do that one. I'm right, and that, that was what you were talking about, your needle size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be. I, it's, it'll come back. Maybe maybe. You might just want to hit, uh, go on to the next point. podcast now, like... <laughs> So, I'm a, speaking of hummingbird, I have my gramps that I'm working on by Tin Can Knits. I did manage to get, in these two weeks, I, I had just separated for sleeves, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I've got eight inches done on it, so now I only have another eight inches to go, and then I can continue on with it. But it's, this is TV knitting for me, and I want to be engaged when I'm not watching TV. So I cast on another project. 
which is so much fun. <laughs> I was a little bit afraid of it because of it. there's so many, there's 11 pages in the instructions for the ranunculus. And so I went and got today some pearl strings and that I could try it on because the sizing was a little bit odd because um, it's supposed to be so oversized, very um, drapey. So, um, and now I got to try it on and it's going to work fine. And the neck isn't even too big or too small. And it is so fast. Is that? It is. It, well, so what happens after that? Is there more patterning? Yes. Yeah. So the, I finish up, there's like an, I, I'm on the eyelet. So there's this, um, yarn overs and knit two togethers and stuff for a couple little textured elements at the top and then there's um, some slips and then there's a couple little lacy eyelet things and then it, there's one or two more features and then it goes separates for sleeves and then goes into just plain knitting but it's so fast and it's fun and they give a stitch count for just about every row and it's oh. lovely so what yarn this is remix light I'm holding two together and I'm using an eight millimeter needle. Look at me remembering. That's what we were talking about. You asked what size of needle I was using for that hat. And I remember that I couldn't ever keep that straight. Remember? We were talking yeah. about the book. There we go. So I'm using Remix Lit Light by Barocco. I got it in town here at Top Drawer. It's super, super soft. I think it's going to be cozy without any scratchy. And how many skeins do you think you're going to use? How many balls? It is almost making me giddy because it says there's so many options for size. No, I know. I'm not showing much except pictures. Okay. So it says for um, a short sleeve, which I'm going to do, uh, 370 yards for my size. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's cool. And you're using... So you're using a, the eight millimeters US, yeah. right? Yeah. So what size? No, mill? no, no, just eight millimeters. <laughs> but it says it, it, which is an eleven US. It says. I know oh, it, it, it says oh, US ten. Oh, and you 10. needed to go up. But so I needed to go up because I swatched for it. I had to I figure do. out how I needed to make it work. You didn't want to have a tent or no. a itty bitty sweater. That's right. So. If it's too big, then I'll wear it. And if it's too small, my neighbor will probably get it for a Christmas present. Right? Oh, yeah. she's she's pretty awesome. So is she? Yeah. Well, it's nice to be able to do something with it when our calculations go south. Don't tell her it's an oops. Right? Yeah. She won't, she'll never watch this, right? She'll, uh, you, who can say? <laughs> Four people watch it. We didn't think they would. So <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's true. That's true. Do you have anything else finished? not finished but i'm working on this the february lady sweater oh. so remember we had a conversation about my last february lady sweater where i wasn't totally in love with it because yeah. i basically on my other one did like a tiny bit more garter and then capped the sleeves because i didn't have enough yarn right so this one i have plenty of yarn so i'm going to actually knit the full sleeves this is um woolies from is it Lion Brand? Lion Brand, yeah. And we got it when one of the yarn shops was closing. So it's acrylic and wool blend. What, 80 acrylic, 20 wool. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's super cushy. So in the colors, it's like a blush heather. Yeah. <laughs> Pinky color made in Turkey. Mm -hmm. So it's, the actual pattern is free. It's turkey wool. It's turkey wool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The actual uh, pattern itself is free on Ravelry. And so it's based off the Elizabeth Zimmerman. Um, I think there's a February. Okay, so it's called the Classic Baby Sweater on Two Needles. And it uses the gull lace pattern. So this, they've taken and created it into a woman's size sweater. And hmm, so it's based, it's based on that Pamela Wayne Flint Knits. Um, and so it's quite, it's quite a, a relaxing knit. Mm -hmm. You know, every it's a four row repeat, so you just gotta make sure that you're 
using that you're on the right spot and so I'm using like my maker board to make sure that I'm staying on the right track for the other rows and where I was and then I don't have any issues nice yeah so this is gonna take me a little bit should go fast though right uh yeah this is it's taken only a couple of days to get that far so it shouldn't oh yeah I don't know you're laughing I want to wish it away no don't do that so I did so that's all that I've Yes, Lisa, I only cast on one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> As we discovered that it doesn't always work well, uh, doing it the other way. Hey, I'm keeping track very closely, putting little check marks on all the rows. So I know where I am. Mm -hmm. Who's going to know? Well, there was a situation <laughs> okay, involving a Joe one. Slipper sock. So um, I will finish those one day but there will be two pairs, different sizes, <laughs> to match the, the two different sizes I have right now. So, she, okay. I did get a text saying, you might be on <laughs> something. And, Cause I said, well, are you finishing those up? And she said, cause she cast them on. She said, well, they're different sizes. So when we don't remember what we were knitting on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, and we also have these diaries where we can keep track of journaling for how, what we're doing, how far we've made it, now. what size we're doing. Yes. No. And uh, then we can, we should actually, do you keep up with your Ravelry page? I don't have one. You don't? Well, okay, so I have an account. I don't know anything else. I find my, my patterns and that's it. Oh, I do take pictures of my projects and post them and oh. kind of, kind of keep track of the notes, of, um, certain notes. Oh, like sizes and that's nice things like that I did learn that you can write you can save a pattern and you can put a note and say what you think you would use like the yarn or you could put a note on it mm -hmm. that's handy. I was super keen at one point and I started to um, there's like a stash feature yeah. where you can add in all the the yarns that are in your stash oh. um, and then take them out of stash and stuff but that got a little old quick well for me. who really wants a reminder well, and I do, I, yeah, and the, when you give something away or, yeah. it was never accurate to no. what was actually going on in my life. So I just no. stopped. Inventory is not fun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So do you have any other whips? No whips. Are you sure? I have no more whips with me. One's in the car, but it's car knitting and it's back and forth. What happened to your car crochet? That's it. That's it? Car crochet, yeah. It's my, my yarn, your whirl. Yeah, my whirl, my dream catcher shawl. That should be good. Yeah, it'll Once be perfect. All done. Yeah. So, or did you bring more finished projects? Nope. I brought two, three. I brought three. I don't know. Is we have a yarn show coming in a week to Prince George, the fiber frolic, right? Mm -hmm. Fiber Northwest frolic. Northwest fiber frolic, I think it's called. Yeah, and last the year. Fiber something yeah my I last year when I was there I went to Fat Marmot's booth and I purchased her yarn and I made these um, Point Edward mittens with them and I used held a double and I love the sparkle in it it's oh, it's not showing up very nicely but there's a nice sparkle in it They're, they feel festive I can be I can get on board with Thanksgiving with these well that's kind of neat because even though, then you can roll it down yeah if you don't want them fingerless but at least up they're kind of covering your totally. the little ends of your fingers so if you're going for a walk with your dog you can not take you don't have to take your mitt off to get the treat out of your pocket so i like these this is the pattern i use i believe it's a free pattern hold the name up they're fun they're fast I've done them in Rose Hill yarns too in Barn Owl. Those are really nice. So what's the yarn that it calls for? Is it worsted? Um, DK. Okay. Yeah, on a three and a half millimeter. It's super fun. Cool. Yeah. And then, should I do another one or no? Yeah. So what you got? Should we do that? You know what? Let's do this one. For a while I was going for 
I didn't have a Pinterest account. No. What's the other one you pay? PayPal. So I was only going for free patterns and now I have a pin, uh, PayPal and so that's really easy to buy patterns. So I looked for the Kevin McAllister moose hat, reindeer hat. Where is it? The moose hat. And I found a free pattern on there for my husband. And it was a lot of fun. It is an all over color work, but it's they're not very big, I think four. Oh, there's a few floats that are a few longer than four, but not very many. And so, then it's got a lining inside, so you... So... Was it supposed to, or you just did that? Um, I can't even remember. And the pattern was on a blog, so I didn't print it. I just printed the, um, <laughs> the shirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, it is, I, I think I just kept going but in reverse with um this is scarves for hope yarn on the inside to make it a little less scratchy uh, it's trevor's hat and he's bald we've established that last time so with big calves with big calves so he's also got a really big head and it's got no hair so um while he likes scratchy wool um not on the head he wants it softer on the head so he, he really likes that. I used Haynes Creek Heathers by Gathering Yarns in uh, these two colors, which are just numbers. But it works out marvelously. So, that's it. What, do you, what are you going to make next? Well, I'm going to stick with my um, sweater for a while. Mm -hmm. And I can hear the dogs inside my house, and it sounds like they're actually destroying the joint. So I'm just texting my husband to say, I think that we may have a problem behind that door. So we might get some entertainment. Um, Is he going to whisper? I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, so next, <laughs> I... I think next I'm gonna do, well, I, there's a little, um, well, one of my friends at work, he has decided he wants to knit. And so he bought himself a knit knitting kit and he ended up making a coaster. And so I <laughs> helped him on his breaks and we made the coaster. Nice. His bind off's a little tight. His, um, there was no drop stitches. He had oh. 18 stitches from the start to the finish. So um, okay. I said to him, what do you want to do next? Yeah. And he said, of course, what does every Everyone new knitter say? say? No, a every scarf. new knitter said, I'm going to do a scarf. A scarf. And I'm like, bad idea. Yeah. And so I said, why don't you do a hat? <laughs> a snake sweater. Oh my gosh. Sorry, They're Christine. Like the longevity <laughs> of a scarf. It's like. The idea is great. Back and forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth. The problem is, is that a scarf can be... It's like this. Very. And yeah, it's long. Very um, long. And it takes, it takes that <laughs> continuity, that persistence, that, that drive to complete yeah. it, right? Yeah. Same with a blanket. A blanket oh, yeah, takes no. a lot because it's, it's a lot of stitches and it's, yeah. it's, you don't have a very finished object quickly so no. new knitters should always start with like great the coaster was great he only had to do um i can't remember how many rows it was it was four inches yeah and he, 18 he stitches. so i think it was like 18 stitches 18 rows or something mm -hmm. it was just tiny it was no big deal he i mean it was a big deal to him he was yeah. grinning from ear to ear and he was pretty pleased with himself and then at the end he presented it to me for my <gasps> desk yeah and I'm like, yeah, you need so to sweet. take this home. And he's like, no, it, it's half yours. Aww. So, um, so anyway, I said to him, all right, here's my suggestions for your next project. Um, it's a hat or a cowl. That's right. You can pick. Yeah. Between the two. Yeah. And you can either do a child size hat or you can do an adult hat because he does have children. Okay. So I was thinking I was going to knit the barley hat by Tin Can Knit. So it's a free pattern on Tin Can. And I thought maybe I would just cast it on and knit it first to see to see how he would manage so this is completely related yeah so my son when we I told him that 
my friend Sarah Boyce wanted me to do a podcast with her. He says, excellent. You should do it, mom. Do it like right away. Because if you keep saying you're going to do it, you're going to do it, you're going to do it. You're never going to do it. So he says, do it. I will help you. So then we kind of got things going under his inspiration, right? Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> we came and we, we did episode one and Sarah made a page on uh, YouTube, an account. <laughs> and then I got home. I said, okay, so Sarah's made an account on YouTube. And he says, mom, I really would have liked it if you had let me make the account for you or help you with it because then when you had questions I could answer them well and to be fair <laughs> he ended up making a new one well he made a new one and <laughs> if he had a said to me what is your password <laughs> or what is the thing I honestly don't know if I would have been able to help him so I don't even know how he was able to create a new one without the old one is the old one still on there I, maybe happening? there might be two um, we're the OG <laughs> of two but, um, so it's important to know what you're talking about. So when he says questions, when he has questions and he says, okay, when you're moving from this step to this step, you'll know exactly. Well, yeah. And you know what? And then he, cause he's only done knitting. So I'm like, well, there's a little bit of ribbing, which yeah. I may just do the ribbing for him yeah. and then hand it off so he can do the, the knit part. And then it looks like there's a, like some texture in there, which we can do or omit. Or is it just garter? Um, but in the round, but it would be round. purled, right? Yeah, so it's... Yeah, mm -hmm. so you there's a section that's purled so that it adds that, that texture to it. But And it's brim up. Yeah. But you know what? It's a, it's a small amount. So, I mean, if it, even if it's only like over so many stitches, no. he's learning that purl stitch. Well, and he's going to have to for the rest of the body of the hat anyways. Well, that's what I mean. Like, we don't have to do it, um, you know, if he, all he wants to do for f yeah. the first bit is knit, then that's fine. Yeah. But um, I think that, I think he'll be, he's game. Totally. He's game. And it's worsted, probably? Uh, I believe so. Mm -hmm. I kind of got to the point of, yeah, worsted weight. Karen. And um, in the pattern, they're using Madeline Tosh Vintage. Mm -hmm. So it's a four and five millimeter needle. So I don't know, maybe on one of our breaks one day, we'll walk over to the yarn shop. It may be a little oh. weird, but we'll go to the yarn shop and he can get the needles he needs, or I might just see what I have lying around. But it's, it's important that you start with quality things because it makes a difference so if you have needles that are are catching your yarn and it doesn't like it. go and it's plastic or even i ended up getting rid of so many of my needles because some of them i just didn't use i tend to use my knit picks wood ones um or my interchangeable set a lot more okay. like i never used kate the the needles with the cable you know how you could get like the arrow brand yeah. or whatever and it yeah. was all joined and the cable was all over the place. I never really gravitated to those for no. sweaters. I would always do them on straights and then try to. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I usually just did kids stuff at the time, like years and years right. ago, well, right? Well, so it's itty bitty anyway. Right. So, I mean, I've knit since I was in my teens. So I learned when I was five from my mom and then I didn't really do it for a long time and then I started to knit in my teens when you know life was a little bit stressful etc mm -hmm. and I would never admit to my friends that it was me that made it I'd always say my mom made you these mitts or whatever you could knit that well I know you or, could or, knit or, mittens and that's nice I mean I don't know if it was quite to my mom's um okay. ability but they don't know but everybody was kind of thrilled with it and then finally in my you know, 20s when I moved out on my own and my dad actually had, um, when my dad had cancer, it was hard to sleep. So knitting kind of calmed my mind and I would just do mm -hmm. easy things that, and then it's gravitated throughout the years, right? So cool. I've learned over that time, like, yeah, you can buy needles at the dollar store and they might be okay, yeah. depending what you're doing. But when you're learning, it's very frustrating already. Yes. And then to have a needle that's going to snag your yarn no. or it's, it's, you know, his kit came with this like plastic darning needle that yeah. it doesn't go through fabric. No. It don't won't even go through the knitted. And I'm just no. like, no, I will bring Here. you a proper one. Yeah. Because this is going to make you actually mad. Can you imagine 
trying to keep in the Kitchener pattern. Okay, and it snags every time, and you yeah. have to go through every stitch to, from two different directions. Yeah. So it would snag. No, no, thank you. You want well, and the end nice. was like so big too. Like it, the whole thing was big plastic blue needle. It wasn't yeah. ideal no, for I, for you know those learning kits. His needles were good. They were bamboo and. No, that's they weren't good. super sharp so but the yarn and the yarn was pure wool but it, it um was splitty uh yeah so for the plies so sometimes he wasn't through all the, the plies yeah. of the yarn but yeah you okay. know what i mean it's just learning and going back through so i still do it my ranunculus is two two strands held together and i still catch oh and i only caught one loop mm -hmm. so i have to go back and find it i did that simple hug sweater by yeah um cozy, cozy up and it's a DK weight, I think, with yeah. a worst or a mohair story held mm -hmm. with it. And there's a couple times that I'm looking at the sweater and I'm like something's wrong with the stitch. Now that I've finished and worn it, and and I'd <laughs> miss the it. I'd miss the mohair or I'd miss. Mm. I could go back and duplicate stitch it on. You could. I'm just not that vested. Okay. <laughs> You're not I, that vested in the sweater. Well, I really like the sweater. I still wear it regardless. It's the best the sweater. Oh, See, I'm hilarious. She's so funny. <laughs> True. Oh, it's good times. So, so that's the next. That's, that's good. That'll be one fun. One of the next things. And, and of course, the Douglas Cardi is still on my to-do list. That was going to be the next project. The problem was, is when I was ready to start that project, I had to wind the skeins. And I didn't want to be in the basement doing that at the time. So, because the line brand was in Meridian Bowls, I just grabbed the yeah. the bowls that I had and cast on. I like getting up and making my coffee and nobody else is up in the house and I get to wind my yarn. I do it before I even want to make a project, which kind of is counterproductive if I have too much yarn. I can't try to slough it off on somebody else afterwards, but that's okay. Well, maybe they'd appreciate it. It's already wound, right? right? And if you put the little ball thing in the if I the tag, so I can remember what it is, right? Yeah, right. Haynes yeah. Creek will never forget. I I will every time. Every time. Every time. Wow. So after I finish my uh, gramps and my ranunculus, I'm going to start probably when I finish the gramps because this is fingering weight yarn for my next project. I am taking these two yarns and I'm alternating the colors uh, like the sea glass sweater. I did a swatch and I'm going to make the flax sweater using this type of pattern with the yarn. And it's color changing. I'm not sure if it's going to stripe. It depends where in the sweater it is. I don't think it's going to stripe because there's not very much of each color before it changes to the new one. Are you, are you going to do like helical so that you've got like with two balls going? No. No? <laughs> I didn't think that far. I, I think it'll be okay. Or if I get into it, I've not yet made a sweater that I didn't rip out and start over so maybe that'll be this case i'm sure this alpaca will really in, uh, appreciate being ripped out it's a concept by katya um Al alpacina or alpacino that's what they call it in the shop oh so it's um alpaca and 75 alpaca 25 polyamide uh, I'm pretty sure that was the English one I just said, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then this is the Millefiori Light by Barocco. And they're so soft. They're going to pan nicely be together. Your swatch so is nice. nice. Well, that's with a bigger needle. So the whole talk about the needle was because the sea glass is DK and the, um, Flax is flax light you're doing, right? Well, no. So no? I made the flax already, and I believe that is worsted. Let's see, I don't even remember. I'd have to read the, the pattern again because oh, hang on. There's page numbers, four, five, two. Okay, 
worsted yarn. This is um, not worsted. This does not feel worsted. No, it, like they're both fingering him. Hey. Oh. So then I got the flax light to see stitches because the flax light calls for um, DK. fingering to sport. Yeah. So, so that would be more this weight. It is. So with my swatching, I'm just going to measure the stitches in the four inch and then I want to find out how many stitches per inch and I want to compare it to how big I want the finished sweater to be and I'm just going to choose the size that's closest. Fair. Yeah. So right. I'm excited for this one because I I love cha the changing colors and it's fun doing the two colors at once. I did a pair of mittens with this and um, I have a mitten pattern in the basement that is um it's two fingering weights yeah held together to make the mittens but i used this weight and i used a mohair with it and oh, I remember the way those. that it muted it was so beautiful nice yeah it was really nice oh boy okay i fixed it oh, i almost had a this is a yarn that got caught in the zipper which had terrible memories for it's all good it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay is it something about mary where there's a zipper and something getting stuck in it probably I'm sure that rings true to a lot of people. <laughs> so, um, so because it's small yarn, I'm not going to, um, it's going to be long. There's a lot of stitches in a fingering weight sweater. So we'll see how, we'll see how that goes. I think it should be good. It'll be good. I will like the fact that it doesn't have a thousand ends. And Lisa's magic knot that magically unties oh. as she's wearing the sweater. So I went back and I looked to see because I got the glue and I went to fix it so I can wear it because it's going to be sweater season and it's warm. It's it's thick. It's it's going to be really nice. Mm -hmm. So I got the glue and I found the end that was coming out and I I pulled on it a little bit, knowing that I could just kind of attach it to a needle and I could fix it somehow. It turns out it was an end I wove in. Oh, it's not falling apart. Well, that's good. But did, you, good did some of those knots come undone or no? No. I couldn't find any that I had to put glue on. Well, that's good. Because that's why you weren't wearing it. I, well, now it's because it's summertime. But well, I, finished yeah. it in, I finished it in March when they had the um, BIPOC challenge. Who was that? Tracy and Jordan. Yeah, Grocery Girls had a BIPOC challenge. And that uh, Woolen Pine has a BIPOC member and a designer. Right. So they also dye the yarn too, I think, don't they? I don't know. So I think one of the teams is part of a yarn dye I think team you're right. too, but I yeah. can't remember what yarn. Yeah. That is, I'd have to go back and yeah. pay attention to the episode. So, um, yeah. Well, that's good. That's I'm good. I'm thankful for you. That Thank that's, you. Because I felt too. my heart felt sad for you. And then I was like, well, I don't want to do that sweater because I don't no. want to have that problem. Now it's all good. And um, also there will be lots of ends, but you still get the the effect of the change. The How much do you think you're going to have to go through? How many balls do you think you're going to need? Um, it depends if I, uh, <laughs> I only got two of each, but there are, there's, I think there's 700 meters in this one and 350 per so, sorry, I have 700 total of this one and 650 or something of this one. So between the two, I think I'll have enough for at least a short sleeve or maybe a three-quarter sleeve or we'll wipe yeah. it here. All right. But I, I only bought two of each. So that's how much I'm going to go through. Should that's I have a crop top? <laughs> <laughs> Let's gamble a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Too funny. It's going to be good. So that's the, the next thing. And your swatches, did you wash your swatches? Yes. Nice. I even washed it. Lisa, I know. who are you? I don't even Following know. Following patterns. I don't even swatching. know. Swatching. I like that. And I, this is a smaller needle. This is, I think, what they call for with the flex. Like, and it's just much smaller. So I, I can't see. It's not so you know what I would do is I would, is I would do the helical and have them going around the same... So that means you'd have 
two balls. Both balls of the colorful one going around one row, two row, one row, two row. Like, mm -hmm. or join it where, like, figure out where your color change would happen. So that I have, like, a whole row of one color. Oh. And then go to the next one. Yes. And then to the next one. Yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> because that feels like it's knots. Like it's knots? If, or tying in ends. And that's not. But if your balls go the same way, uh, we'll take that as a sidebar off yeah, offline. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Or I'll just let her do her thing, and then when she doesn't like it, then I'll say, "Why don't you do it like this?" Yeah, she's good. This is a and I told you so moment coming up. Watch future. No, podcasts. told you so. Just a helpful suggestion <laughs> that you may like it better if you do that, and you may not. I may not. You may not. Like I said, I rip things out, so it's all good. Yeah, it'll be good. So that's what's next, and I just have that hat. Do you have any new things to show? Did you buy some things besides our journals? Besides our, um, these are mini and pearl pearl strings. Oh, I there's like, too. is it barber's cord? What's the other? There's another name. Well, Fimo is what we used to use, but I don't think that's right it? because yeah. Fimo was flat for our kids. Let's see um, if I can get a hint from anyone else on how to hold it so it stays focused on there. I got purple. Nice. So they come in these ones we got at top drawer. It does smell like it's, we're of that age where this smells is like my youth. Reminiscent of, of our crafting days when we were twelve. Probably some cancer causing smell. <laughs> yeah. So but. don't use the plastic cord that we made your friendship bracelets out of thirty. Well I don't years think that ago. the female was flat. Yeah, it was. But it smells so, very similar. The point of this is they are hollow. These are long macaronis. And they stretch, so you get... I don't have any needles out. Oh, I do. Oh, it's tied to my gramps. It's okay. Um, you put the end of your needle in it, and then you thread this through your project so you can try it on. And it comes strategically with one long string and two short strings. So you can put one around your the body of your sweater and one around each arm or whatever. So you can try it on and not worry about it. And it's grippy. So it's not going to be, whew, where did the strings go? It's no longer in my sweater. Right? Yeah. So that's, that's a pain yeah. when that happens. And I thought at first when I was in the yarn studio, well, first of all, I go in there with a clear plan. And then I get in there and I get all high on the yarn fumes and I make bad choices. It wasn't, there's no bad choices in the yard. Well, I just buy things and then I'm like, what's the plan with this, Sarah? Like, yeah, where are you going? But anyway, so at first I was like, ah, it just works fine when I use just my regular, um, scrap yarn, no, scrap yarn or the cord from the, from the interchangeables. You know how you just take the needles off and put the ends on? Yeah. But then how do you make it long enough to get it over your head or over your shoulders? Well, I have the attachers. So you have to like join like multiple, or you have just long cables. I have a long cable and then I have a join so I can attach more cables if I need to. But this feels like less work. It, I guess. And those interchangeable things have actually come apart on me before and then oh. you have a problem. Well, and if you have more than one project on the go at once, you're probably using that cable and connector already. That's... Don't... That's why I bought these. So we need to do a, a thing here. So if you cast on more than one project at a time, are you a monogamous knitter or do you like to have lots of projects? Let us know in mm -hmm. the comments what you prefer to do. Do yeah. you have multiple projects? If so, how many do you like to have on the needle? Do you like to have socks in your car mm -hmm. um, for your car knitting? And, or do you, or do you, um, are you team Sarah or team Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one skate or the one one at a time, strong and steady, and the uh, hummingbird? <gasps> okay, I I called myself that, so I suppose I can't get too frustrated. Right? Mm -hmm. No. It's all good. Mm, right? Yeah. Eventually, you'll have multiple finished things. Eventually. I had to buy a new pair of scissors. Oops. Okay, I so just you drop down the deck. Not between the boards, onto the sub deck. There we go. So I just bought these today so, so you the rainbow scissors you told me that there was a story well is that a later story is that a now story well no I just I went to work so I'd used my scissors I brought my knitting into the bedroom one night and I was just sitting there watching my movie and knitting away and uh, I brought my scissors in and then in the morning before work I brought them back out onto my knitting stand 
and I came home, so I'd just gotten them from Michael's or whatever, and they had plastic candles. And um, <laughs> my dog decided that she would alter them for me, and she chewed off the finger pieces. So I just had like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seemed pointless. And then, and I was mad because those scissors fit perfectly in my thread and maple um, little leather yeah. holder, which she has also gotten a hold of and <gasps> softened it up nicely for me. Thank goodness it's real leather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although the other one got a hold of my, um, I ordered from the grocery girls like last year. It was, uh, it looks like those knit stitches. The bracelet? Yeah. So I have a bracelet and I have the shawl cuff. And one day I'd come home from work and I had the shawl on and I took it off just while I was sitting knitting and left the cuff on the counter and the smell of the leather att att attracted the dog and it did not withstand it just because it had those laser cut oh, yeah. things and so she really did a number on that sucker. Oh, that would make me sad. Yeah, so I was going to reorder it and then I haven't yet. Yeah. Because then I always, I'm like, oh, if I there's $200, I get free shipping and then before you know it, I have... $200. Mm -hmm. of stuff yeah again in no vision yeah. so i need to really um pare down mm -hmm. the just buying but i'm not no i'm not there yet i get it i i understand the principle but yeah. you know that kind of thing so do you have another favorite thing or something else that you bought this week not for knitting no but did you notice i'm still here and i have a 16 year old driving mm -hmm. have you gone anywhere with him i have once yeah and I did not need the vomit bag. Good. He was very smooth. My car is zippy. It's very reactive with the throttle. Mm -hmm. So that means that if um, he's not careful, the gravel could be flying behind us. Mm -hmm. um, it's very smooth. He was considerate. Was considerate. He went around all the potholes. Nice. Yeah. He's He cursed a guy who passed him on a double line. Yeah. Which is, it's, it's a good feeling because I figured that he would be one of the show boaters. Sorry, Spencer. He, um, he just isn't going to do it with you in the car. I hate okay. to break it to you. Okay, well, thanks. You're welcome. But th things are good, right? Things are good. Yeah. I mean, you know what? I mean, really, all things considered, taking my team's driving was not... It wasn't terrible. There was just some times where they didn't listen. And like parking in the parking lot was a little bit. Oh, we haven't you know, gone to town yet. We've only done back roads and highways. Yeah. Which highways? Kind of scary. But I think town is scarier. I don't think we're coming to town. Well, there's just lots of starts and stuff. They do have to do their test in town. So it's not like you can avoid it. Do they really? Uh, we, could go yeah. to, we could go to Vanderhoof. You could. But then he is at some point going to drive in town and you could have a problem. He could ride his bike. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Well, that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. It will come. Can I show this <gasps> that I bought today? You didn't. We. Yeah, I thought you said you don't have anything else planned. I forgot. Well, I don't have anything planned it. for it, but I bought it at the top drawer. This was, once I saw it, then I was like, well, maybe this should be my Dougie. And then I need to make a get a couple another colors of the Briggs and Little and swatch and maybe... Yeah, you should. Is it for the Douglas? Really, you could do what I'm going to do with the colorful flax, right? Where you could just you swatch to fit their pattern or fit the pattern mm -hmm. to your swatch. Mm -hmm. And I mean, maybe if I held this double, I would get yeah closer to the gauge. I don't know. I just really like the color. like And the price, like for seven fifty dollars a skein oh, at the yeah. top drawer. So affordable. And so, how, long, how, how much is there? How, much, how many meters? Um... 430? Uh, 393. 393 meters. Meters, mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty awesome. Oh, 430 yards. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'll swatch with it. I'll see. And then, I, and then I might go on, well, I probably will go on the website and find the other colors. I'm thinking an orange and a green and a red, mm -hmm. perhaps, to all go together. But yeah. we'll see. After t next week's fiber weekend... Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to save up. Money? Money. Because I have a hard time with pretty things anyways. And if I'm saving shipping, then it really is best to grab it while they're here. Right? Because Polka Dot Creek's going to be here, aren't they? 
Polka Dot Creek is in central Alberta, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Polka uses a lot of that. I thought. Yeah, they do. I thought Ooh, they were. They've even got Tweety stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a bunch of daughters. I, is Fat Marmot coming back this year? I hope so, and I hope... Um, oh, it's gone. I can't remember her name now. What's the other one I got? The Scarves for Co Hope? No, I got that one too, but I, it's the silver one I got. She's from Williams Lake. I thought that was Fat Marmot. No, that she's Kelowna, I think. You know what? We're sorry if we're getting oh, this wrong. Oh, I know This who you is... Mean. Um, she had her stuff for sale at um, Top Drawer. Mm. I'll remember it. I'll put it in the show notes. It's we'll see. right there. It's right there. Not Fat Smell Marmot. This. <laughs> Smell this! You know what? It smells better than yuck, than wool. Mm -hmm. Soaking to, like, to block mm -hmm. grosses me out. Is that? The smell of a wet sheep on my kitchen counter. I need... Can I put... A drop of essential oil in with the soak or will it go rancid I would just put the drop of essential oil in your water yeah with your soak but do you think that the oil will go bad eventually I wouldn't put it to the bottle I would just when you fill up your container yeah. your thing to put your wool garment in yeah but drop a drop of oil in there then and then it won't eventually smell like um, wet sheep and Rotten oil? What they put, like, there's eucalyptus wool soak, so they must put so they must oils put in somewhere. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, this, the, do they all smell the same? I wish you had smell of vision. I know. It's, you know what, this is pretty good compared to, like, it smells like crafty. I know. Do you, do you smell your yarn when you actually buy it? No. No? No. My mom. Oh, this smells better. <laughs> and so do you smell your own yarn? Do you smell your friend's yarn? I smell all the yarns. It's good. I don't know. So that's... I think that yeah, that's it, right? That's all I really got. Yeah. Oh, I had a bear. I've named her Betty. Did you know you can tell a black bear gender? I've heard this. I didn't look it up my own self. You can tell the gender of a bear by the shape of their ears, and if they're kind of pointy or fox-shaped ears, they're female, and if they're round ears, they're male. Hmm. So we had, I have a bakery. You I don't know if you know that. Last time. <laughs> <laughs> so on hot, hot days, I've got all the fans going, and I'm trying to get the hot air out of the bakery and the air conditioner to keep it cool enough in there. And I, my bear, she walked up the driveway, and she's outside my front door, and I tried to scare her away, and she's like, mm, I like sourdough. Two hours. I had customers. It didn't matter. I was banging on the window. Didn't matter. She wanted bread. Hmm. And so you can tell that it's a girl bear by it's her ears? It's a girl bear by her ears, because it's a pointy. So I called her Betty. Yeah? Yeah. Right on. Is she still frequenting, or did she move no, along? I haven't seen her again, but she usually only comes on garbage day. Garbage and bread day? Garbage and bread day. Uh, they line up perfectly. Oh, convenient. Yeah. But that's cool. That's it. I did oh. not have any bears here. Which is a blessing. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. Yeah. Although tomorrow I think I'm going to go out to the East Side Market in the morning. Not tomorrow, Sunday. Is it on Sundays? Mm hmm. Well, okay, now we need to look it up. I'm no, pretty... I'm sure it was Saturday. No, it's. I'm per I am. Mostly sure it's Sunday. I'm very certain it was Saturday when I was there. So if you're from Prince George <laughs> and you go up to Willow River to the East Line Market, which is pretty awesome. If you go early, you can usually find everything you want. But there's candles and there's home crafts mm -hmm. and bannock and concession. Yeah, but you're talking about the one in town, right? No. Or East, the East Line has East that? Line is Will Willow River, right? Yeah. Yeah. And baskets. So I bought this basket the last oh, yeah. time we were out there. That's a nice basket. I know. But I'm afraid to use it because my dog clearly likes all my stuff. But she's this lady, I think her name's Bridget. And they're made in Ghana. Yeah. Huh. Barely traded, so they're paid to 
Campus and grass hand woven and dyed with the region's natural vegetables and mineral sources. There were so many, and I, I think yeah. I want another one. They're really, really nice. But my dog, like, They're she's leather. gonna like the way this handle smells, and I'm gonna come back to nubs. So that's gonna be a situation. So I'm a little afraid to keep it where she can't reach it. Yeah, it's easy. It's just a matter of forgetting. Because sometimes you're in a hurry, you're on your way out for work go to work or whatever mm -hmm. and you leave something down and then you have a mm -hmm. pair of scissors with no handle <laughs> something like that so i don't know so that's what i got this time you as well uh, pretty much i don't know all right well should we call it i think I episode think so. two done if you have hung in until the end let us know I just panicked a little bit to see if we um, actually plugged in the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> We've done that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Say All right. Hi. Say hi. We'll maybe be back next week after, or well, after the 11th. Because yeah. if you're in Prince George or Prince George area and you're thinking of coming up to the, um, it's on Facebook, Northwest Fiber, Fiber Frolic. Frolic. Yeah. Um, give it a look and see, you can see the vendors that are there and it, I think it's just on the Sunday and it runs Chester Knits. Chester. Chester Knits. That's the one in, yeah. in Williams Lake. In Williams Lake. Lake. Really nice yarn. Um, um, yeah, pop in. They had really good giveaways. They did. I won yeah. a prize last year, so oh, yeah. maybe I'll be lucky enough this year to win yeah. another That's another good. prize. What time does it run? Do you know? 11 to something? I don't know. They have a Facebook page, yeah. all the information. That's like a whole week away, so we're not that prepared. But after we've been there, maybe we'll show you some of our acquisitions and... Uh, Super excited. Self-therapy for the winter. <laughs> but, all right. Episode two, one and done. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.